Seth, you're a big basketball fan. I am. If you had to take like a giant, lanky, like basketball center and put him on a football field, what would you do? With okay, him? Like, like a seven footer, like a yeah. Guys close to that size have played receiver before. Can you know run routes and they're taller than everyone and can catch the ball. What if you had a really tall like NBA center you had on your team specifically to like swat balls out of the goalpost for field goals? Okay, so I don't know what position that would be, but it's like super free safety trying to play D on the goalpost. Yeah, like goaltending basically. How tall is a goalpost? Ten feet. Then that's a fantastic idea. Well, too bad. Because there is a rule against specifically that, and I'd like to tell you about it. Please do. The rule says, goaltending by any player leaping up to deflect a kick as it passes above the crossbar of a goalpost is prohibited. The referee could award three points for a palpably unfair act. Palpably. Palpably unfair That's a act. a sexy word. Does the ball have to be crossing the, you know, uh, goalposts? If you try to deflect it as it's going across the goalpost. Right. Or like swatting it down with your hand. I wonder, Hard given the trajectory of a kick, how often this even matters. I guess some kicks, you know, hit the very bottom or, mm -hmm. or come pretty close. Often enough for them to make it to illegal. Make a rule, yeah. And I'll tell you exactly why. Please. In 1969, the Kansas City Chiefs drafted a basketball player from Clark Atlanta <laughs> University named Morris Strapp. And this guy was huge. He was 6'10. He was a pretty good basketball player. Mm -hmm with very little actual football skill, but Hank Stram, who was the Chiefs coach at the time, was like, I have to have this guy. He's so tall. The guy was fucking huge. Yeah. So Hank Strom hires this guy and was like, I'm gonna have you play tight end. And he has a pretty decent career from 1969 to 1974. Mm -hmm. But he also puts him on special teams. And he goes, here's what I want you to do. For every field goal attempt, I want you to just run all the way down the field and get set up in the end zone. And then when the ball starts going towards the goal post, I want you to try to jump up and just swat it out of the air. Which has to look really stupid, right? Yeah. Because the field goal's coming, even a short field goal is coming from very far away, and it's typically going to clear the crossbar by a lot. So he's just jumping and waving his arms. That's like me trying to play basketball and trying to goaltend. Right, exactly. You know, or like catch an alley-oop. Like, it's not going to happen. I don't believe he ever successfully did it, <laughs> which is very fun I would me. be very surprised if he had ever successfully blocked a field goal from directly in front of the uprights. I'd like to see a really short guy do it. <laughs> well, then you shimmy up the pole <laughs> and like sort of squirrel your way across and then reach. The, is there yeah. a rule against that? Uh, tons. There are tons Damn of it. rules against that. Damn it. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, what if instead of that, and this could give you a few feet in front of the goalpost, mm -hmm. you had one player already on the field sit on that guy's shoulders and then he's waving his arms. Maybe they're wearing one, one super giant long jersey. long jersey. Oh, hello, sir. It's just me. The Any rule against foot that? Sick. Uh, I don't think there's a rule to do the ch children in a trench coat move. It would be very fun to see it at least once. But he tried to do it so often that eventually the commissioner at the time was like, no, I don't think this should be a thing. And so they enacted this rule, and they called it the Stroud Rule nice. informally. That's pretty cool to have a rule named after you. Right. And also have it not be a rule like something creepy, like you're not allowed to... I'm not going to say anything. But no, go, finish. finish. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. You're not allowed but to, that's like, slap like, butts on the field. It's like, oh, the Russian That's not ball. a rule. <laughs> There's no rule that says you can't slap butts. It is now, and it's the Rosenthal rule. Welcome to Weird Rules. It was one time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Weird Rules. If you have an idea for a story like this one, leave it in the comments below. And there's a whole bunch of other ones, so go watch them. They're all really great.